But when you talked to KSM, what did he have planned? Because he said there were going to be there were going to be harassing attacks. He was telling you t- t- he had a plot oh, to blow up gas stations. Oh, you're asking me about the biggest plot. Yeah. Well, about the gas. Well, well, there were going to be the harassing attacks to distract us while they while they planned for the big follow-on attack. So right? you're asking about the harassing attacks. Yeah. Well, they had uh, people inside of the ground. One of the things that he said that he wanted to do. Uh, based on the Malvo thing, the Beltway shooter. He talked about that, right? Yeah, he, he was fascinated by it. You know, it, 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 uh, he said it taught him a lesson about economy of scale, that you didn't need those uh, large catastrophic attacks. They would be nice, and you would pursue them, but if you had one or two brothers who were willing to do low-tech uh, attacks, and you had lots of those doing them, then uh, you could... Uh, the specific thing he said is... Uh, just like infected fleas can bring down an elephant, little bite here, little bite there, the elephant gets sick and dies. Mm-hmm. He said that's how we could cripple America. Mm-hmm. And so what he, one of the things he wanted was uh, he wanted to blow up gas stations all along the East Coast. And, and uh, he was working on, before he was captured, uh, a explosive device that he could s- send down that pipe mm-hmm. that tanker trucks used to fill those, you know, those gas tanks. Mm -hmm. And uh, he told us he had bought a gas station in Pakistan and was practicing. uh, He had actually bought a gas station in Pakistan. That's what he said. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's what he said. And uh, was actually trying to develop the technology to be able to disperse the the explosive that was inside of the device such that he got the largest fireball possible and could create as much chaos and kill as many people as he could. He wasn't mm-hmm. interested in a small cell one. But he thought if you did that randomly or simultaneously all up and down the East Coast, then it would uh, essentially cripple us mm-hmm. right, for a time being, just like the Beltway, the Beltway shooter did. Mm-hmm. And he actually had a guy in the United States that the, the FBI um, um, uh, caught, mm-hmm. you know, in part um, the information from the CIA informed them about this guy, uh, but he actually had a gas route, and he was actually driving a gas tanker, and he was delivering gas, mm-hmm. and he was just waiting for them to perfect that uh, device so that he could place them in the gas stations, and that plot was disrupted. There was another plot he had that was kind of a harassing plot where what he wanted to do was he wanted to uh, uh, bring down a major bridge like the Washington Bridge or the Brooklyn Bridge, uh, and he had a guy working on uh, acquiring the uh, shape charges that would be necessary to cut the cables. Now, uh, I spent the first six years of my adult life at, as on the bomb squad as a bomb guy, and we had shape charges that cut an engine in half. And so I know people don't think you can cut those big cables, but they build a shape charge specifically to cut those big cables, and this guy was trying to acquire that shape charge. And he wasn't successful, but he was still working on it. And what he was trying to do was to keep us busy until the student pilots that he, that he had Hambali training could launch that attack. And they, had a, they intended to do another a major catastrophic attack, uh, hitting a hitting building in Los Angeles, the library building, I think it's called. It's uh, now the U.S. Bank Tower, but it was the library tower at the yeah, time. Library yeah, library tower. Uh, one in Seattle and then uh, the Sears Tower in Chicago. Those were the three targets. He intended to hit all of those targets with planes. 